Landfill Biomining at Kumbakonam. This presentation talks about how to build, own and operate model. We'll revamp and clear the existing dumped solid waste using biomining technology. Kumbakonam is situated in the state of Tamil Nadu in Tanjabur district. 100 kilometers from Trichy and 300 kilometers from Chennai. The quantity of MSW generated in Kumbakonam is 70 metric tons per day. Reasons for consideration of biomining over biocaping. Biomining reclaims land that can be reused and also there are no maintenance costs involved. The land in biocaping cannot be reused and it also calls for the maintenance costs year on year to manage methane and leachate. Reclaiming the land helps ULBs to utilize their dump yard efficiently by setting up MSW processing facility, biomethanation plants, etc. to avoid future MSW dumping. Consideration of measurement by volume over weight. Since it was an already dumped waste, measurement of weight would mean additional costs in transportation and wastage of time. Since the waste contains moisture, measurement of weight would not be the most suitable way to measure the processing performance. There was always a possibility that the contractor may clear the heavier fractions, leaving all the lighter fractions as it is in order to raise the bills. Measurement by volume would depict in real sense how much area has been reclaimed. The municipality contacted various service providers for understanding various solutions to clear their dump in the landfills. Zigma was also called for a presentation on biomining. Zigma conducted a contour mapping survey before the presentation to assess the quantity of waste dumped. It then assessed the time required to clear the entire dump yard. These two points were considered as a benchmark while awarding the tender. The presentation involved question and answer sessions specific to Kumbukonam dump yard among municipal employees, sanitary inspectors, pollution control board representatives and municipal health officers among others. Once all of them were convinced, the ULB went ahead with floating the tender. The dump yard was an eyesore with no place left to dump the future MSW. Out of the total area of 10.5 acres, around 7.5 acres of land was dumped indiscriminately with MSW, with other areas being utilized for green cover and other utilities. Average height of the heaps was 7 meters from the ground level. There was no space to establish any new MSW processing facility. Fully dumped site was handed over to us with no space for erection of equipments. Machineries included trommels, vibro separators, air density separators, conveyors and magnetic separators. All equipments erected were mobile in nature and could be moved once the project gets over. The plant started operations in the month of August 2015. Step 1. Stabilization of waste. Step 2. Processing and segregation. The plant is designed to segregate around 14 different aggregates enabling 
efficient and responsible disposal of all of them. The plant disposes all of its aggregates responsibly to the tune of 100%. The plant has achieved 0% rejects, which means none of the aggregates are considered as rejects and are dumped back into the sanitary landfill. Out of 1,31,250 meter cube, more than 1 lakh meter cube has been processed and aggregates successfully disposed. Out of 7.5 acres dumped with garbage, more than 5 acres has been reclaimed. The ULB has built a RCC compost pad and a 70 metric ton per day MSW processing plant in the two acres land reclaimed. The entire quantity is estimated to be processed in another two months time. The dump yard is a sight to see now.